Assemblymember Twycross. reforms and our views on the actual reforms. I think it's important to accept that the welfare reforms are already creating a whole series of unintended consequences which are including the movement of families and that this is creating pressure on services in the areas to which they're moving. For example, we're hearing reports which quite clearly you haven't heard already, um, although it was Sorry, raised that? last week. We're hearing reports that school place is already under pressure in outer London as families move no, as a direct result school of benefit School is under pressure in outer London because of the population. I mean, that's just happening. And population is changing because people are moving out of outer London. So, for example, um, my colleague Joanne McCartney quoted last week that a governor in Kensington and Chelsea are told her the role was falling because people are leaving... Um, because of the changes, yet in her own constituency there's a problem with movement of families into the area, which is putting pressure on school places. What will you do to ensure families on low income aren't forced out of central London? Well, and what will you do to support um, services in the areas into which they're, they're moving? Well, as, as, as I said uh, earlier on in, in answer to Darren, uh, we did win concessions from the government for the hardship fund, and um, particularly that's uh, to be used in cases where kids have to be in a certain school for one reason or another. Councils do have discretion in this, in this matter, where people have to live uh, near such and such a, a place of work. But not every case is, is, is a hard case. Often people who are uh, not in full-time work, uh, who, are, who are receiving very, very considerable sums uh, in benefits, uh, eye-watering sums to pay for accommodation in London, uh, will have to make choices that... Uh, are faced by many other people uh, in this city. Uh, not everybody can live exactly where they want in London. Of course, we're trying to minimise uh, the impact of these, uh, uh, of these changes. And uh, it's very, very important that um, you know, we got the, the concession that Darren didn't know about uh, to uh, minimise the impact on people who, uh, who lose their jobs. Uh, we got the hardship fund. Uh, that, that is a valuable thing. But in the end... It is, and it was, the policy of the Labour Party uh, to, uh, to think, reform this can, can, can we get away from, from that and just look at well, the unintended like consequences that, it... that this, government, this government's reforms are creating and what you're going to do in terms of urgent action that is needed, both in terms of um, looking at what movement is actually taking. Okay. And we heard last week at the meeting on welfare reform that movement is taking and that there is evidence not just from school places but from, from other, other services and other, there's other evidence and what you're going to do as Mayor to review what is happening. What are you going to do to review what's happening? Well we are closely monitoring uh, with CLG and with, with the boroughs we are closely monitoring the impact of what is happening. That is absolutely correct um, and uh, you know, Tom is right to focus on, on that aspect of it uh, but what, we are, what we cannot yet say with confidence is that there is a, uh, a Kosovo-style exodus no, going leaving on. It, leaving uh, aside I was in the Kosovo rhetoric, in what are you doing saw, to review what, what is happening? Uh, we are not seeing anything like that. No, I mean, leaving aside rhetoric, what are you doing to ensure both that families aren't affected and that local services aren't Some impacted? Some families will be affected, Fiona. Yes. Some families will be affected. But yes. what are you doing to... To, to review the situation and what will you do to ensure that local services don't, don't reach sort of breaking okay. point on, in the on, areas? On your point about schools, I would encourage those boroughs, I would encourage those boroughs uh, to create more schools and solve the problem that uh, Fiona correctly identified.